Hi friends, welcome back to Happy Out Home. Today I'm going to show you how to style this adorable little cabinet that I have. If you saw from my prior video, I found this cabinet at a thrift store and I painted it. And you can check out exactly how to paint it in the prior video. But it is just the cutest little thing and I like it so much. It is probably a little over six feet tall, so it's not large in size, but it is just so cute. And I love the gold accents that I put on the molding and it just really makes it pop and shine. So I thought today I would show you many uses that I've come up with on what to do with a cabinet such as this because if you are on the lookout and I hope you are if you are needing more space in your home this is a great storage solution but I'm gonna just walk you through different things and different ideas that I came up with on how you can take a little cabinet like this that you happen to find out thrifting or maybe you even own a piece like this that's sitting in your dining room but you don't need it in your dining room anymore and you want to use it in the rest of your house and what you can do to actually make that happen. So as I said, I painted this myself. I painted it blue and gold with gold accents. And you know, now I just wanna add a couple other little fun details to it. I have some tassels that I want to put on the glass door hooks. And I think it's just gonna be a really fun, cute element to add to it. Just another, you know, just little pop to it. So let me show you what that looks like. So how cute are these little tassels? They're the same shade, the same color of the cabinet, and they're just so cute. I absolutely love them. They're kind of large in size, but I think they just look so pretty on the cabinet. You know, whether the cabinet is open, whether it's closed, it's just a cute little addition to it. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to show you that just as an extra little addition if you're looking for something like that to add to a piece of yours. They serve no function. They're, they're just pretty. So another fun little addition to the cabinet is I found some um, paper. They're like drawer liners and they're scented and they smell so good. So I was thinking, you know, some of these older cabinets, if you do buy them from a, th a thrift store, they have a bit of a musty smell to them. So that's why I thought, well, how about just a scented one in English lavender? Absolutely like love the smell of lavender. I bought this and I haven't tried it on to see what it looks like, but I want to put a couple pieces in the drawer and just to see if I like it. Um, so I'm going to do that and then we're going to we're going to see if this is a yes or a no. So this is what it looks like right out of the box. It has a really pretty bow on it and I can already smell the lavender as soon as I open the box. So I hope these are going to work. They're going to sit on the drawer properly. Um, if they're not, I can already see them curling up and bothering me, but I hope that's not going to happen. So I'm going to put them on the drawer and then we'll, we'll check out and see how it looks. So this is how these drawer liners are gonna look in the drawer. I've used just one piece and I haven't cut it yet. I just put it in to see if I was gonna like it. But when I painted it, you know, I painted it the interior color of the cabinet. So it's just a very light blue. And if I didn't put any drawer line on it, I think it would be fine. But like I said, you know, they're with these older pieces, they can, can have a bit of a musty smell to them. This one actually had a stronger smell um, before I painted it than it does now. Maybe some of the sanding and the painting helped to eliminate some of the some of the odor, but I thought these drawer liners would be fun. So I, I like it. You know, you can even take the drawer liners and, you know, put them behind. I'm not gonna do that, but you can even put them behind um, the shelves, which would look really pretty. 
Um, I'm gonna leave mine just a light blue, but I do really like the fact that they do have a really nice scent to them. And so I am gonna cut another piece and put it in here. And um, I hope that works. You can see, I just need to cut it in the back. I just put it down. So far it seems to be staying. We'll see. You know what, I guess I wouldn't even really need to cut that piece back there. I wonder if it's helping to secure it because it doesn't have any adhesive on the back which I guess you really wouldn't want because you would want to change them out and reuse them. So I am gonna just try to cut it and then see if it works. But so far, I really do like the scent of them. So actually what I did is instead of cutting it, I just folded that piece in the back down over the other side. And I think that'll just That'll work perfectly. I guess I really didn't need to cut it. Um, so it is popping up a little bit as I expected. I did take the paper and you know roll it in the reverse direction to even it out, to even the curl out. But you know it is you know popping up a little bit. I don't know if that's going to bother some of you. I know it's <laughs> bother me. Um, but of course, when you put something down on it, you know you use it as the drawer. You, you know, this it, as a china cabinet and you put your cutlery down on this drawer, then of course it'll flatten out. But yeah, just wanted to show you that that is an idea. Um, I like it. I'm going to keep it. I'm gonna put it another piece down and then we are gonna get on and I am gonna show you several ways to style this cabinet. So hold on. Okay, so I put down another piece. I rolled it in the opposite direction to try to get some of the curl out, but I didn't cut it at all. And I just folded the back piece down. And so I have two pieces in this drawer. Um, and, you know, it looks good. It's, it's, it's popping up a little bit, but again, you know, once you put something down, I think it'll be good. So I like them. I'm going to keep it. So that's just another idea and it smells so nice. So I would much rather have um, a lavender smell than the musty smell. I'm sure you probably all would too. And they had a bunch of fun, cute designs. So if you're interested, I will link it. Okay, let's get started with styling this cabinet. So in this first styling, I am just using a complete set of vintage china that I found, yes, you guessed it, thrift. Let is go, let's go in and take a closer look. So I styled it with these plates that I found at a thrift shop. It was a complete set of 10 and they're just so pretty and they have the gold accent on them, you know, around the rim. Um, and just look how pretty the gold accent is with the gold accents on the cabinet. I'm getting a little bit of a glare here, but you can, you can just see if, you know, as you look closer in, if you can see that, I know it's a little glare, sorry about that. Um, but it's just so pretty, like the gold on the outside of the cabinet really makes the gold pop on the inside how pretty that is. Teacups. I love these type of little teacups. So on what I really love about this cabinet, which I can't really say that I've seen before, perhaps many of you, um, if you have a lot of old furniture, you have it, but there are two grooves on the shelf. So that really makes it so easy to style uh, your plates. As you can see, I've layered this top layer up with the dinner plates in the back. Um, this is the widest sh shelf that I have. So the dinner plates, really, this is the only shelf that the dinner plates fit on because they're so big. This second shelf is more narrow and the third is more narrow. So, and the third one doesn't even have grooves. But so on this one, I have lined the dinner plates up on the first groove and then the salad plates on the second groove. 
And if you saw my last cabinet styling video, I'll link it here. Um, I talked about, I, I didn't have two grooves in the cabinet. I only had one and I did a similar styling where I um, would lean some of the smaller plates up and I used a particular type of putty to do that, you know, so they, they wouldn't move. Um, and if I can find it, I'll, I'll link that, but I don't feel like it really, you even need to do that with this type of cabinet since it does have those two grooves to secure the plates. And here on the second shelf, I added the salad plates in back with the teacup saucers in front. And I just have a few teacups in the front here. Isn't this just like the cutest little pattern? So you could take, I mean, this cabinet easily holds you know, an entire set of 10. I mean, it would hold even more for, for 16. But see how pretty it is just with all of the colors, the blues, the violets, and the way that I just style it, layer, layer, layer. A dinner plate, a salad plate, teacups, turn the teacups in different directions. You know, on this top one, it faces forward so that you can really see the design on the inside of the teacup. And again, the gold really accents, accentuates the gold on the outside of the cabinet. So this is one design. And in the drawers is where I would put cutlery. And in the bottom, which has so much more space, could put even additional plates or serving pieces. Even though I don't have any serving pieces, I don't think with this set, uh, now that I think of it, but you know, I would even still have room to put serving pieces in the display. So this is one idea to take a one set of china and how you can display just an entire set inside of the cabinet. I really love it with the doors closed. It looks so pretty. So I'm gonna come back to another styling set of china that I have some new plates that I absolutely love that I want to show you. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to show you another idea. You could use a chest like this for your silver. It can be a silver cabinet and you can take all of your entertaining pieces pots, teapots, coffee cups, serving platters, ice buckets, glasses, trays, and then you can display them in the cabinet. So that is another idea, a silver cabinet. And again, those grooves in the back are great for different sizes. So this chip bowl is rather tall and it did not fit in the first groove. So I put it on the second groove and it fit fine. And, and yes. on this platter right here, it did not fit on the first groove and is resting on the second groove. So, you know, I really like this like double groove cabinet. So here is another idea a silver cabinet. And again, plenty of storage underneath for additional silver pieces. All right, I am going to come back to another one. So hold on. All right, ladies, here is another really good design idea for a cabinet such as this. Of course, we've talked about it being in our dining room, being, you know, on the main level where we would use it for china, but another use for it is up in your bedroom or in your closet. It's such a small little cabinet that it can really just go in so many rooms of the house. So this next one I am going to show you, I'm really excited about. 
it can be used in your closet for a collection of your purses and your handbags. So I have just grabbed a few of the bags that I keep in my closet and I thought this is just a great way to display them. And I could easily have a cabinet like this up in my bathroom. It's small. It could go into, you know, any small space, depending on the size of your bathroom, of course. But I got this idea when I was sent this beautiful Teddy Blake bag. Oh my gosh. This bag is so pretty. It is made of real leather of not just real leather but premium leather i mean it feels and it smells like leather and all of teddy blake's bags are made in italy in their pelleteries they this one particularly is embossed you know to make it look like you know alligator or crocodile but it is leather and it is just so magnificent. And I did check the stitching and everything to <laughs> check out the quality of it. And, you know, the, the snaps on it, the, you know, the gold detailing on it is just so, so pretty. I really like it. I mean, you know, they label all of their bags and on the bottom that when you put it down you know your leather is not going to touch the floor so this bag is called the chiera it is 11 inches and teddy blake makes all of their bags in the same factories as all of the brand names you know the ones that you pay one two thousand more just for the label it's the same quality it is the same quality, but you are saving on price. And I'm one that's willing to pay for good quality, but not pay an exorbitant markup for just a label. So that's what I really like about this is that I am willing to pay for nice quality. And this just really, really just feels so elegant. And I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. And what I love about it is that they're coming out with new designs all the time. And if you don't see one that you like, which I'm sure you will, because there are so many different types, you can subscribe and they release new collections every month. Their designers are always working to improve and come out with new ideas. And I, I think you, if you check out their website, then you would be really impressed with them and their quality. And this bag, the Chiera, does have a separation in the middle. Not all of them do. Um, some of them, you know, are just one pocket. But it does have a separation in the middle if you like to stay organized and, you know, put your wallet on one side and put your phone on the other side. And also, you know, the way that this is, you can leave it open. And it just looks pretty when, you know, these are... The, the gold detailing on the front shows, you don't always have to buckle it up every time you go into it and out of it. So I do really like that as well. And this magnificent wallet as well. And I checked out the, um, the zipper because you know, that's where a lot of companies go cheap on the zipper. I have a designer one and I struggle every time to open it because it gets caught. So they have really good zippers, very easy to open and close. So I just love that as well. And this color can go with so many of their bags. Again, it is embossed and I just think it's beautiful. So this is an idea, what do you all think? And I also wanted to mention that it does, the purse does come with a strap and a duster bag to keep it clean. But again, in a cabinet like this to display, you may not even wanna use the bag, but if you do need it, it is there. So I love that as well. Bag. So what do you think? Um, of course you can use this drawer for belts and then the bottom um, uh, cabinets for hats. 
So something this size is perfect to put in your bathroom for your purses, for your belts, and for your hats. So that is another idea. I'm just coming up with all kinds of ideas, aren't I? So I have another plate idea. You guys looking forward to that one? I am looking forward to showing it to you. I love these new plates as well. And another idea with the cabinet being upstairs, like in your main bedroom area, is to use it in your bathroom and to hold, if you're short on cabinet space, to hold all of your bath essentials. Your shower uh, gels, your soaps, and again, these just smell so wonderful and they emit this great scent from the cabinet. And your towels, I just put a few things in here to give you ideas, candles, but just to hold all of your luxurious bathing essentials, brushes, uh, anything that you may have. This size cabinet is just a great addition. Again, so many uses for it. Um, and I really like this one, especially if you are short on bathroom cabinet space, you know, and don't want to just put everything, you know, in those shelves above the toilet or, you know, under your sink. This is just a pretty way to display them. You know, they have such pretty soaps these days. And this is like a Laura Ashley white gardenia. It smells amazing for the bath. And this is just another cute idea. So hold on, I have the very last one I'm going to show you is another plate idea. So hold on for that. And the last styling that I want to show you, again, has to do with dishes in your dining room, in your kitchen. Hey, I even have this in my family room. A cabinet like this can just, Again, it's just so versatile. I really encourage your, you know, if you all see something like this, you know, just to to purchase it at, you know, a thrift store and bring it home. And there are just so many things that you can do with it. It goes in so many rooms. But this last one I want to show you, um, again, with dishes. And I'm going to show you two ways. These are just white dishes that I recently purchased. And in one of my, uh, I think, styling videos, I talked about, you know, how I don't have a holiday pattern for Christmas. And I, you know, just think that um, an off-color white set is just so versatile. And I asked you all, I was thinking about buying a holiday set. I looked around, looked around, and nothing grabbed me. But when I saw these plates, they're not holiday plates. I can use them all year long. I was just so tickled pink. They're so pretty. The detailing on them, they're just so pretty. So they're dinner plates, salad plates, um, bowls. And I even got a cake stand. So I am really loving this white set that I can use for so many different type of um, base plates, you know, sort of like as a charger, I guess. Um, so I recently did find, again, I was thrifting and I found some beautiful plates that I love and I'm gonna show you. I am going to add them to this set just to give you one last final idea and see what you think. So hold on. So this very last pairing, I added these just beautiful blue and white plates that I found at a thrift store. Look at the detailing on them. They are just amazing. They have this beautiful like scalloped edge and the blue and the white is just so pretty. Love it so much. Uh, I wasn't able to find salad plates. The salad plates were gone, 
but I did find the bread and butter. I, I'm sorry, the dinner plates were gone. I picked up the salad plates and the bread and butter plates, but the salad plates were gone. So I'm gonna have to be on the lookout uh, to complete my set and pick up six of these. But so I bought six each and I just am loving the detail on them. Don't those look pretty together? The white and the blue and the white. I think I just really am loving this combination together. What do you think about that? So I would love you to drop me a comment below and let me know which is your favorite styling. Uh, if you have any ideas or tips or suggestions, would love to hear that too. But let me know, let me know what you think and I will be back for another video. Oh, oh I forgot to tell you, if you are interested in the uh, Teddy Blake bag, I do have a coupon code so if anybody is interested, let me know and I can give you a special coupon code for an extra $30 off. So I hope you like this. I hope you like the cabinet. And again, storage space down there for our extras, you know, all of your, your cutlery and your flatware goes there and serving pieces or napkins, whatever. This cabinet is so cute. And I hope you like it too. I hope you got a lot of great ideas from it. And I will see you next time. Bye. Please like and subscribe. I also forget to say that. But all right, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.